Good afternoon, everyone, and a very, very warm and special welcome to all of you, our valued first year students that are joining in on this afternoon's orientation exercise. I am Jarell Alder from the Division of Student Services and Development, and it is my absolute pleasure to welcome you to our campus's first year experience program, otherwise known as FYE. So we are truly, truly happy and honored that you have made the UE St. Augustine campus your choice. And of course, through the FYE program, we are committed to ensuring that you transition seamlessly to your very first year of study at our campus. And that of course, you become fully integrated into our campus community and your new home at the UE St. Augustine. This afternoon is particularly important and exciting as the campus welcomes all of you to your new student orientation at the Faculty of Social Sciences. It is my absolute pleasure to invite and introduce you to, at this time, uh, Dean of the Faculty of Social Sciences, Dr. Akola Cameron, who will guide you through this afternoon's orientation program. Over to you, Dr. Cameron. A pleasant good afternoon to all of you on this rainy Wednesday afternoon. I trust that you are all keeping safe and doing well. My colleagues and I in the Faculty of Social Sciences warmly welcome you to this afternoon's orientation. It is certainly my pleasure to, to see virtually all of you here, our new undergraduate students. And as Jarelle indicated, my name is Apola Cameron and I am the Dean of the Faculty of Social Sciences. So what I would like to do is just to give you a few remarks and then you will hear from the heads of the de departments in the, in the Faculty of Social Sciences. You will hear from some of your colleagues in the Faculty of Social Sciences. And then we will hear from the, the Guild of Students and some other persons will bring remarks. So I'll just like to start off by saying that it is Benjamin Franklin who said, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. And today we recognize and applaud you for the investment that you are making in your personal growth and development. I expect that at the end of the three year journey with us that it will yield much or many lucrative returns now and in the future. I also thank you for choosing the UWI and the Faculty of Social Sciences. As, as one of the, the vehicles that will bear the burden of that responsibility. As many of you may know, or you may not know, but most recently, the UWI was ranked the number one university in the Caribbean, one that the Times Higher Education World Rankings has placed among the top 5% of 25,000 recognized universities globally. We are also the only Caribbean university to be ranked among the best. And so I confirm that you have made a most excellent choice and we are most fortunate to have you with us. The Faculty of Social Sciences has, we do, we do have within our ranks committed and capable academic and administrative staff within our four departments who are all eagerly waiting to work with you and to provide the support that is necessary for you to successfully navigate your way through your respective programs. And while we encourage you, we encourage all our students to, to focus on academic excellence, we also want to ensure that we produce well-rounded individuals who are able to build and sustain healthy relationships with your peers, with your potential employers, employees, and the wider community. We also desire that our students who are part of this great faculty can become deep thinkers and creators of solutions that can affect and change the increasing societal challenges that we face. And so it is with this in mind that the vision for our faculty, and you will be hearing more about this through your journey with us, our vision is to be socially engaged and solutions oriented. As a faculty, we will be providing you with the requisite support for you to become socially engaged and for you to become so solutions oriented. As one author puts it, 
It is our responsibility, one that we take very seriously, to prepare you for worlds unknown, to prepare your minds for, for thoughts unthinkable, and also to prepare your resolve for struggles unimaginable. And so we expect that in this new journey, you will carefully watch over your investment by doing what is absolutely necessary to experience maximum benefit. So permit me just a moment to stress the importance of just some basic actions that are required. Reading, asking questions, and there are no foolish questions. Attend your classes and tutorials and engage your lecturers for clarity of understanding. As basic as it may seem, it is what makes the difference between failure and success in this environment. I also encourage you to engage in various non-academic activities presented to you. Get involved in the clubs and the groups and sporting activities, professional development, community activities and the like. Take care of your physical, your emotional and your mental health. If you have a problem, you have any challenges along the way, do not suffer in silence. We are here to assist you in whatever way possible. So just reach out to us and we will assist accordingly. So as the faculty continues to, to build relationships with our external stakeholders, there are many exciting opportunities for you through exchange programs, internships, community initiatives, seminars. All these activities are there for you to interact with your various industries and sectors and to be exposed to all those practical aspects of your study areas. I encourage you to take advantage of every opportunity that is presented to you. We also want to hear from you directly. And so I encourage you to offer your services or your suggestions to the Student Guild as it pertains to ways that we can improve your UWI experience. The faculty works closely with the Social Sciences Guild representative with a view of implementing positive change for the benefit of us all. And so, as I conclude, I want to again warmly welcome you to the UWI first of all, and to the Faculty of Social Sciences. And I wish you much enjoyable success in your time here with us. So those are just my few remarks, just to welcome you and just to give you a, a few tips. And I would also be chairing the, the rest of this proceedings with you, which should take us just over an hour. And I want to, to start off by giving the heads of the departments an opportunity to welcome you to the respective departments. And you will also hear from students within those departments. I want to, to let you know that we do have a, the chat option open and available. If you have any questions as we go along, you can place your questions in the chat and someone will respond to those questions. And we do have an opportunity at the end for persons who want to ask a question in, in the open forum, you have that opportunity as well. Bear in mind that each department has an orientation that will answer specific questions concerning your program. So those program specific questions, we are happy to answer your, what courses you need to do, you know, any questions pertaining to your department and your program, you will have that opportunity to engage with your, your head of department as well as lecturers in your department. And that will take place over the coming week. So at this time, permit me to welcome, first of all, virtually, the head of the Department of Political Science, Dr. Charlene Roach, who will bring greetings to us. I want to extend a very warm welcome to all our first year students. I am Charlene Roach and I serve as head of the Department of Political Science. 
I also want to congratulate you in achieving a significant milestone. You are joining a great West Indian institution known as the UWI. On a personal level, you are now part of the DPS family. Welcome class of 2021. This is something to celebrate. I would like to share three challenges that I want you to keep in mind for this academic year because we have high expectations of you. Now, the first challenge is that I want you to set high goals and work to achieve them. Former US President Barack Obama once shared to students just like you that no matter how much you do or what you have done or what you are doing, there is always more to learn, more to do and more to achieve. You are yet to achieve your body of work. So at the DPS, we do not want you to get comfortable or settle for mediocrity. This year, I want to encourage you to set three goals. And one of those goals is gonna be a future goal. I want you to envision yourself at the end of your three-year journey. And I want you to think of what class of degree you would like to achieve. I want you to think of first class honors. So it begins first of all, by you believing, I can achieve first class honors because we want you to set goals that have no limits. And I know that you can do it. So we want you to work hard. So you need, first of all, to prepare yourself that you can actually achieve first class honors. You're gonna have to work and stretch yourself outside your comfort zone. You're gonna have to engage in your classes, study, read, participate, join teams, do your homework, everything that you need to, because at the end of your journey, we want you to be able to say that I have improved my best self as you navigate this journey. Now, the second challenge I want to share with you is that I want you to break ties with the old way of thinking, me first. Instead, I want you to embrace teamwork. Now, we use a mnemonic that we say that teamwork means together, each achieves more. And there's synergy. More organizations are looking for future, future employees who possess strong team skills. So we at the DPS are going to make you work in teams. And I want to challenge you this semester, next semester, look for new persons to work with. Even if you had a good experience with another team in another project, in another course, Look for new people, change your team leaders, change your team memberships, because every time you change, you are going to develop and honing on those team skills. We are going to teach you how to share information in your teams. You're going to develop skill sets in terms of facilitating tasks, building relationships. You're going to learn how to harmonize your ideas. You're going to learn how to manage conflict and brainstorm and problem solve and generate new ideas. Because when you learn to do these things and you graduate, you're going, to, you're going to transition into the workplace where you can actually work with different people. And the third challenge I want to share with you this afternoon is that I would like you to embrace your fears, which means every one of us, we have areas that we are not comfortable with. So for some of you, it might be working with teams or perhaps presenting before an audience maybe performing in a class that requires a lot of writing or even quantitative work. Whatever those fears are, I want you to face them and do it anyway. Because at the end of your journey, we want to develop distinctive attributes for, uh, for you as DPS graduates. Now we have a dynamic team of faculty members. I'll just mention their names. We have Professor Anne-Marie Bissasa, Dr. Vishnu Raghunath, Dr. Theodore Todorui, Dr. Mukesh Basdeo, Dr. Indira Rampasad. We have an administrative support staff, and we are all here ready and waiting to serve you. So we are very excited that you've made a decision to join us and to begin your journey with us at the DPS. Welcome. Well, that was the, the welcome from the head of the Department of Political Science. And now I welcome Adriel, who will share with us her experience and welcome you to the Department of Political Science. Thank you so much. 
Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Adriel Charles, and it is truly my honor and privilege to speak to you today. Three years ago, I sat in the GFK Auditorium, lost, confused, but the most excited I've ever been. My story starts with me being a first-generation commuting UWE student. Truthfully, when I first entered UWE, my main and only goal was to achieve first-class honors. I remember my first month or so, whenever I didn't have classes, I would hibernate to the library just to read as much as I could. One day, the library had an orientation session and I participated and I won a prize. And I honestly said to myself, you mean I could just win stuff just by showing up? I attended so many DSSD events for the prospect of winning something. But there I realized that UE is so much more than academics. In 2018, I joined the Model United Nations Club and the same year was voted the inaugural president. Now the juggle begins, academics, extracurricular, and self. Despite it all, I finished my first semester on the Dean's List and the recipient of a bursary by the UWE Endowment Fund. It's year two and the real workload begins. One piece of advice, when your friends say that a lecturer is difficult, you make that choice for yourself. When I could not grasp topics in class, a simple email to a lecturer or a visit during office hours did so much to help me. The next thing is to be involved with your guild. I served as the Interclub Committee Secretary in the office of the Vice President, and that gave me the opportunity to be selected as a first year experience ambassador. I was able to speak at various meetings, presenting, presenting students' opinions at the student staff liaison. I represented the student body at stakeholder meetings as an ambassador. I was able, through the, through the Model United Nations Club, I met diplomats, United Nations officials, this other students from our Mona and sister campuses, simply because I made the most of the opportunities before me. It's 2020, Jeff celebrated my 21st birthday and declared the year to be mine for the taking. It was one of the hardest years of my life. I felt like I was out of my depth. Here, I understood the value of a support system. My friends, my lecturers, CAP services brought me through the most difficult time of my life with support and counseling. Slowly, I regained the passion and zeal that I missed. In the beginning of my last year, I saw in your folder an email from the United Nations Conference of Youth contacting me and congratulating me on being selected as the country coordinator of Trinidad and Tobago. I was ecstatic, and this was all because of the UWE St. Augustine and the Model United Nations Club. This year, I'll be representing Trinidad and Tobago at the COP for Youth. I always tell people that there's a world of opportunities waiting for you in your UWE email. Don't be afraid to seize them. Since 2018, I've learned to let the mantra, be you, be UWE, play a large role in developing myself. I'm the woman I am today because of the countless opportunities UWE has given to me. I financially benefited from the UWE Endowment Bursary. Professionally, careers and plays and DSD has done so much to prepare me for the world of work. I've heard peers ask, girl, you don't get tired? Truth is, I do, I did. But UWE gave me some of the most genuine and selfless friends that supported me at year one, two, or year three. So don't knock the group projects before you try it. I've said all this to say, take the risk, dare to be you. This year, I leave the institution proudly as a graduate who successfully read for her BSc in international relations with a man in cultural studies, graduating with upper, with upper second class honors. Who do you want to be? What will be your legacy? So much awaits you one click away at the UE St. Augustine. I now hand back to you, Dr. Cameron. Thank you, Adriel. Oh, congratulations for coming to the end of your journey in fine style. And as you said, the, the, the message to, to those of us on the call, dare to be you. And so I, at this time, I want to hand you over to the head of the Department of Behavioral Science. This is Dr. Talia Esnard. Thank you, Dean, um, and thank you for the warm welcome. 
Greetings to all of you here this afternoon and congratulations again, um, first on being accepted to the UWI and for being here, for making the time here on this very rainy day um, to share the moment with us, but really just to get into your programs and to get a sense of who you can be by being UE. I would really like to warm you, warmly welcome you all um, to DBS, Department of Behavioral Sciences. As the head, I yes, I have the obligation to welcome you specifically to behavioral sciences, but I want to say something bigger and deeper than, than just warm, warmly welcome you to behavioral sciences. And to say that you are now part of the UWI family. And I want to start this afternoon by just asking you to pay a little bit closer attention to that building that virtually stands behind me. That building would have been the admissions building. It is the admissions building. This is your first point of interaction with this university. And I wanna take the opportunity to think and to talk a little bit about symbolic meanings and values. This building has a history. It's a, it's a history of where the university started, the faculties, the programs that first emerged from the university, the structure, the building tells a story. The people in the building have stories to tell. I want you, when you walk into the campus, not just to think that I am a student in the BSc psychology or the BSc sociology or social work or criminology and criminal justice program. I want you to think about the campus. Think about the history and the legacies that you're walking into, that are holding your hands along this very journey. I want you to look closer at symbolic meanings and values. I want you to remember that you will develop the Pelican Pride. This is the university where symbolisms are all over. Every building, every classroom, every lecturer, there's a symbol, there's a meaning, there's a value. And when you look closer at the meanings of values, what you will realize is that, yes, you get the knowledge from the university and from the programs that you are registered in, but you will move from a position of knowing to a position of knowing with an even bigger imagination. So it's moving from knowledge to imaginings and using the symbolism that you gather from your environment and the knowledge that you are now taking forward with you and just using and unfolding and unleashing that imagination to something bigger than yourself, something bigger than where you stand and imagine the possibilities that will unfold from where you stand. Seeing the university, more than just the structure, more than just the program, more than as a classroom, will give you the opportunity to move from knowledge to imaginings. And I want you to remember that as you go along. Every step that you take, every classroom you enter, every lecture that you listen to, do not take things for granted. Look deeper, listen closer, ask more questions. But more importantly, just remember that you are in an institution of higher learning. There's a mandate behind that. There's a call to action behind that. You are now called to think higher, higher levels of analysis, higher thinking, deeper thinking. But I want you to remember as you delve deeper, as you think deeper, open your imaginations, open your mind. Think of what is there in black and white, but think beyond the box. Think outside the box. Think of what does not exist. Ideas start, material things start from ideas things in the mind and they transfer into something real. As a sociologist, there's something that I always remembered, the very first classroom that I entered into in a program, in this particular program. And that is anything that is conceived as real are real in their consequences. Think about that. If you think of something as real, then that thing is real in its consequences. I also have a mandate, I have a mantra that I follow. And that is whatever the mind can conceive, it could also achieve, okay, anonymous. But what I want to leave with you this afternoon is that unleashing of the imagination. And I want to remind you that yes, you are in a place of knowledge, 
But knowledge is not just to be used and to reproduce. Knowledge can morph into many more things, into actions, into moments of change, into tangible things that we could use to change our own lives, into being socially engaged and socially oriented. And I want you to remember that. So use your knowledge to change, to act, to do, to become, to think of things beyond your very own space and your very own mind. And lastly, I want to remind you that at first year students, this transition is not going to be an easy one. And that's why I want you to pause and walk, pause and walk. Because if you walk too hastily without moments where you are going to pause, you're going to miss the messages that may be obvious, but because of the haste, you may miss them. Take the time to observe your environments, the actions, the behaviors, the activities, the moments, the opportunities. Because in the first year, the transition may be one that is so different. It challenges you to rethink, retool, reorganize yourself and don't take that for granted. Because what we have noticed is that the students in the first Dr. Esna, um, you're muted. Sorry about that. I, I, sorry, I don't know how I became muted, never touched, but I just wanted to leave um, you all this afternoon with the message of take the time to observe your environment, take the time to know who is around you, what is around you, the symbols, the meanings, and the messages. Take time for self. Take time for self. And as you take time for self and for moving from knowledge to imaginings, you are going to grow and morph into something unimaginable. Welcome everyone to FSS, welcome to Behavioral Sciences, and most importantly, welcome to the UWI. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Esnad. I feel inspired to be a student again. I am going to unleash my imagination. <laughs> Let me welcome uh, Keisha Samlal, who is a student in the Department of Behavioral Sciences, to share with us. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Keisha Samwal, and I'm currently enrolled in the PhD Sociology Program at the University of the West Indies in the Department of Behavioral Sciences. I'd like to warmly welcome you all to the Faculty of Social Sciences, as well as the University of the West Indies St. Augustine campus. Prior to my current program, I would have completed the Master's in Sociology Program and so I've had a little over seven years of experience with the Faculty of Social Sciences. I must say that those seven years have been rewarding and enjoyable and enriching for me as an individual, as a learning professional, and as an academic. The Faculty of Social Sciences stands as one of the larger, if not the largest faculties on campus. And so you're exposed to so many different disciplines and opportunities to learn and branch out into new areas of study. My time with the Faculty of Social Sciences has been one filled with social interactions. And for me, that has been one of the most rewarding things. You have the chance to go to different courses and classes that are always interesting and interactive. You are learning from masters in the field. Your lecturers have a wealth of knowledge and they are walking resources for you to tap into. And so whether it's inside the classroom or outside the classroom, I encourage you to engage with them, take the opportunity to have a conversation with them, learn from them, because more than just their academic knowledge, they have real life experiential knowledge that they would be willing to share with you. And that guidance that they are willing to give personally has helped me a lot to come to be where I am today. Very valuable to me, however, have also been the social interactions with my peers. You find yourself in classrooms with people from so many different walks of life. You meet people from the region, you meet people from outside the region, people from different walks and spaces and places, different career backgrounds, and those are also valuable learning experiences for you. You will find yourself sitting in a classroom with someone who may have studied nursing in the past. You will find persons who would have studied social working in the past or have had experience, work experience with it. 
people have worked with youth and older persons. And so there's a wealth of knowledge for you to tap into that is beyond just you learning from a lecturer in the, your classes itself. You will also have the opportunity to develop yourself professionally because the faculty provide you with our, uh, chances, not only through your courses, but other programs to develop professional skills, you know, to become that better individual ready to face that real world and that real world. I've had chances to improve public speaking skills, to develop writing skills, uh, you know, to learn about research and data analysis. And I really feel more confident in my abilities to really go out there and face the real world. The faculty also, beyond your lecturers and beyond the other students, they have an amazing administrative staff. Countless times I've found myself in situations where I wasn't sure about what I needed to do for different things. And I could reach out to the administrative staff via email or a phone call, and they would provide information, they provide support. And that is important, especially now where learning is virtual because of the pandemic. And so you may find yourself sitting behind that laptop and you feel very isolated and alone, but know that there is a wide network of support out there for you through the Faculty of Social Sciences. And, you know, make use of that support. Always know that there is guidance, there's knowledge, and there are people there willing to help you along the way. Overall, my time with the Faculty of Social Sciences has been very enriching and rewarding. And I wanna challenge you, this newest cohort of students with the faculty, to seek out those opportunities, to embrace the challenges that are going to come your way because they're gonna make you a better person in the long run and make use of as many opportunities as possible um, as you embark on this new journey. So I'd like to welcome you once again, not only to your departments, but to the Faculty of Social Sciences and to the University of the West Indies. And I really do hope you enjoy your stay here. Thank you. Thank you very much for that, Tisha. And just echoing that sentiment, take advantage of all the opportunities presented to you and the support services all around you. And on that note, I want to welcome the head of the Department of Management Studies, Dr. Shelly Ann Wilson. Thank you, Dean. Good afternoon, everyone, and special greetings to our new first year students. It is my pleasure to welcome you on behalf of the Department of Management Studies. We are so very proud and so very happy that you chose the UWI or UWE and that you chose the Faculty of Social Sciences for your undergraduate degree. You have made a huge decision to enroll into university. And so congratulations on taking this leap to pursue higher education. So I have a short time today just to share a few words with you as you get started here as a member of the UWI and in the Faculty of Social Sciences. So firstly, uh, enrolling into university means that you have decided to pursue higher education. So you made it through your primary school, you've made it through secondary school, and now you have chosen to pursue tertiary level education. And it is here you will gain knowledge, you will gain a deeper understanding in your chosen field of study. In the Department of Management Studies, we have a range of programs, including accounting, banking and finance, insurance and risk, leadership, human resource management, marketing, sports, tourism, and of course, management studies. And in these programs, the courses that you will take, you will be developing skills and knowledge. So you have your analytical skills, problem solving, critical thinking, uh, decision driven, uh, um, data-driven decision-making skills, presentation skills. So be prepared, of course, as a student in tertiary education to put in the work. Learning involves effort. It involves work and uh, directed effort will lead to re rewards. So put in the work, which would lead to the results. Secondly, I have spoken about the work that you need to put in in terms of the pursuit of your knowledge and skills, but just as the other speakers would have spoken, uh, said before, your UE experience is not only about academics. 
you must take advantage of your time here. Build friendships. Some of the classmates will be your friends for life. So I graduated from my undergrad degree decades ago. And some of those people remain my very best friends to today. Build your network. Some of these, some of your classmates will turn up at some point in your career. Remember to join clubs. There are so many uh, clubs on campus. You should join and participate. In the Department of Management Studies specifically, we have our Management Student Union or the MSU. We have our Tourism Society. In addition to the clubs, we have co-curricular courses. In Management Studies, we have Financial Literacy and Ethics and Integrity. Get a well-rounded experience while you are here on campus. Um, if I could do one thing over, if I had a chance to do over my undergrad degree, I would take so much more opportunity of being involved in clubs and being involved in activities. And thirdly, your lecturers and your admin staff. So your lecturers, we are here for you. We are here to support you on this journey. We will expect the best from you. And how will we get the best from you? We will encourage you. We will push you. We will stretch you. We will challenge you. Ultimately, what we want is the best from you. We want you to be your best. I want to extend a special welcome to the Department of Management Studies students. We look forward to seeing you. So even though for now we can only meet with you virtually, you will meet with us, your lecturers and our admin staff during advising, which for some programs start as early as Friday, while the others will run from Monday the 22. So please remember to visit our website for further details, as well as remember to check your emails for important communication from the department. And students from the other departments, we welcome you as well, because we offer a wide range of courses, a number of minors. So as you progress in your degree, you can explore our course offerings and our minors. We have accounting, finance, insurance, and risk management information systems, human resource management, marketing, sports tourism, and management studies. So I want to leave with you just those three points. This journey is the pursuit of higher education. It will lead to you increasing your knowledge and your skills in whichever program that you have decided to specialize in. You're going to work hard, but the university experience is not only about academics. Get involved in clubs, in societies, develop friendships, pursue co-curricular courses. And lastly, your lecturers and the admin staff, we are here to support and guide you on your journey. So I want to introduce one of our graduating students, Mr. Sachin Duki, who will share some of his experiences as a student of the Department of Management Studies. And this is via a video recording. Hi everyone, my name is Sachin Duki, and I recently completed the BSc in Management Studies with minors in Marketing and Spanish from the Department of Management Studies at the UE St. Augustine. My experience with the Department of Management Studies has been a tremendous one. Something I admire especially with this program has been its flexibility. I was able to not only do one, but two minors, one of which was out of faculty, and class schedules were quite accommodating to this. Within the classroom, I have met and learned from some of the nicest and most brilliant lecturers who were not only knowledgeable, but extremely passionate about their fields. Outside of the classroom as well, I would say that the department has significantly added value to my university journey and my professional career. I was fortunate enough to be a member of the Management Society, which in collaboration with the Department of Management Studies would recognize our academic achievements at the end of every semester, as well as provide a platform for us to interact with our peers and meet new people. In addition to this, I would remain eternally grateful to the Department of Management Studies for affording me the opportunity to be part of the 2021 UE First Citizens Internship Program, which gave me the opportunity to apply what I've learned during my program to the world of work and has even paved the way to longer-term employment at the organization for me. At the UE, 
I have also had the opportunity to serve as the Public Relations Officer of the FSS Skill Committee and the UA Economic Society. As a Management Studies student, these roles were extremely helpful to my program and also gave me practical experience to the world of work and memorable experiences which I will always cherish, such as representing the university on national television and other youth spaces, meeting inspiring young people and for my own personal development. The UE and Department of Management Studies is full of opportunity, so take advantage of it. If that was the Department of Management Studies. I would like to now invite to the virtual podium Dr. Anne-Marie Mohammed, who is the head of the Department of Economics. Anne-Marie. Thank you, Dean. Good afternoon, colleagues, and good afternoon, new students. Welcome to University Life. I would like you, I would like to invite you to listen. I know you've been listening to all departments talk, and I'm going to make it sound so selfish when I'm just talking about economics and economic students. But we are a very small department. We, we do not have many programs, but we have so much to offer. The Department of Economics, we offer a major in economics and we have a special in economics, but we also offer a minor in environmental economics and a minor in economics, which you as a new student can marry with any degree program that you are pursuing. So apart from the academic courses, that you, that you have to do to complete your degree, the Department of Economics, we host many events throughout the academic year. And the reason we do this is to keep you fully engaged, fully engaged and plugged in. It includes things like host national budget forum. We have the economic use forum. We also have the conference of the economy where we give students a chance to work in the conference, a chance to meet with economists who are not only lecturers, but who are practicing in the field. And these are to mention a few, but please do not walk away without being part of the economic society. It opens a world that you can only imagine when it comes to the opportunities that are afforded to you. We do all of this to encourage students not only to study economic topics in depth, but to do so with an independence of mind. Because many times we see you have to regurgitate this and regurgitate that. We are trying to let you be your own thinker. When you come to the university, you are coming for us to develop in you your thinking, your independence of mind. Therefore, we are here to help you not only develop strong analytical skills, but to help you acquire the ability to assess economic issues critically, to be able to stand out there, to be able to not only be a Trinidad and Tobago economist, but to be a Caribbean economist. You would see coming from Cape that many of the theories that you've been taught are from the Western world. What we do here on campus is teach you to marry that with the Caribbean effects because a Caribbean country, a small island developing state is very different from a first world country. At the Department of Economics, your success is our main goal. As such, we encourage you to reach out to us. Reach out to us if you have a question. Reach out to us if you have any difficulty whatsoever. Students very often shy away. They're afraid to say something. This is not that. Reach out to us. Once you make contact via email or via a chat, however you're doing it, we will reach back. So you won't be there alone. We make it our business to reach back to you once you reach out to us. And we want you to know that we are here to support you in every way possible in your journey towards graduation. These are going to be the best days of your life. So grab every opportunity, walk every road, just use the university as your vehicle to your professional life, to something better. Embrace everything that you can. Please don't shy away. Please don't be afraid. Now, I know we're in the virtual world right now, but this will not last forever. And eventually we will come face to face. But while we're in the virtual world, we don't want you to be 
alone sitting in front of your computer thinking that you know you you just this little person on a computer a little id number no we want you to engage us we want you to talk the lecturers are here for that we have a full staff with um tutors we have instructors we have a mentorship program so if something is going wrong you feel you're falling by the wayside reach out to us we'll get you involved in our mentorship program now the department of economics will be having its virtual orientation for new students on friday august 20th and it will be from 9 am to 12 noon via zoom at this event you will be able to get more in depth information about the department about its lecturers um about your degree we will also let you know everything you need to about academic advising since it takes place for the department of economics in the following week we know that you you are uncertain that the waters that you have to charter may seem a little rough because you're here for the first time but we're here to tell you what you need to do how you have to do things like simply fill out your form how to book an uh, a, an appointment if you need to plus we will also be here to walk you through various regulations and administrative matters that you may need to be aware of so i look forward to seeing you there at our orientation i look forward to you embracing university life living your best life being the best you can and thank you and i'd like to now introduce mr eslon dumont who will tell you about his experience in the department of economics eslon Thank you Dr. Mohammed. Pleasant good evening to our very supportive dean Dr. Akola Lewis Cameron, our four brilliant heads of department, the FSS Guild representative Mr. Daron James, and a special good day and special welcome to our first year students or should I say our next game changers. My name is Aslam Dumont and I'm currently pursuing an undergraduate degree in economics with a double minor in finance and social policy. I'm the current vice president of the Economic Society and my comrades and I recently founded the Association of Debating and Public Speaking. I encourage you to join the Economic Society and the Association of Debating and Public Speaking. Allow me to congratulate each and every one of you on being accepted by the university. I want you to note something and always remember this. Being accepted by the UE is one thing, but having the privilege to identify yourself as an FSS student is another bundle of joy. Our faculty is rich and diverse where we embrace all walks of life. Here at FSS the focal point of our mission is to craft minds to be socially engaged and solutions oriented but more so to equip you with the advantage to shift the pendulum of traditional thinking. Appreciate your degree because there is no other degree that can be compared to the quality of an FSS degree. The FSS to me is something I consider my second home and I can say this with utmost confidence because i began my uv journey oblivious in a virtual nature in an atmosphere plagued with uncertainty however i must say that thus far it has been an amazing experience and although it may seem as a tough challenge in navigating a virtual space the efficiency and support of the faculty is commendable especially the dean's office one of the things i'm most grateful for in my virtual experience at the uwi and by extension the faculty of social sciences and the department of economics was the ability to have good relations with my lecturers They provide a constant reassurance that they were always one email away, and trust me, I took advantage of that. Now, being a student within the Department of Economics granted me the ability to enhance my confidence and leadership skills, and presented me with a vast array of opportunities that equipped me to successfully boost my career as an aspiring economist, and in order for me to go into the real world and become an agent of change. The department is instrumental in helping you develop that unrivaled mastery of the economic language. As a fellow student, I can only be honest. It is going to be challenging, but my advice to you is to rise to the Herculean and hit the ground running. Do not wait for last minute. In closing, I can think of no better way to close than in the words that I am so sorry, you are so sorry, we are so sorry. Together, we can make it happen. Back to you, Dr. Cameron. Well, thank you for that, Eslan. Um, we are so sorry. we are so sorry indeed uh and that brings us to the the end of the presentations from the heads of departments as well as from the the students i trust that you that you feel warmly welcomed to the faculty of social sciences and so at this time we want to shift gears a little bit and we want to invite 
Pavitra Mohammed, the administrative assistant in the Department of Management Studies, who will present for us just some brief guidelines on concerning academic advising, which starts this Friday, and some other services that we have available for you. So I'll hand over to Ms. Mohammed now. Thank you, Dean, and good afternoon, everyone. I am Favitra Mohammed, a, a member of support staff of the Department of Management Studies and well, the Faculty of Social Sciences. And before I start, I just want to say, wow, to our student presenters, you always make me so emotional at, at events such as this. I mean, you, you're always so very passionate. Allow me to share my screen so that I can um, bring to you my presentation. I will be presenting to you today briefly on the uh, two of our support systems in the faculty, and um, these will be available to you from August 23rd to September 17th. Virtual academic as by advice as, well as, as well as the um, faculty's live chat. Now, academic advising, as I was saying to you earlier, is integral to course selection and registration at the UWI, and we do place great emphasis on this process. And um, this will become apparent to you on Monday when you uh, when registration opens. Last year, we moved from face to face to virtual advising, and this had numerous benefits to both our staff and students because it forced us to then navigate the university system. Um, no. As registration quickly approaches, you can therefore expect to receive a number of email blasts from your various departments via your UE email, and you can expect to see a number of advertisements on the faculty's webpage as well as social media. Now, where is your faculty's webpage? Let's do some navigating. Navigating the UE homepage is, can be a bit daunting, but it is very easy. Simply go to www.sta.uwi.edu, click on faculties slash academics, and next, click on the Social Sciences tab. Once they're navigating to your respective department, it's very easy. For first-time users, navigating the university system is a bit challenging, and so the faculty has introduced its live chat to lend you support in real time. Our chat room is open daily from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. and can be found on the bottom right-hand corner of the faculty's webpage, as you can see in the picture on my slide. And it's available during those hours on the faculty's webpage, which I showed you to, um, which I previously um, showed you how to navigate to, sorry. So feel free to drop into the live chat room and ask your questions. Our staff are always happy to assist. So this was my brief presentation. Thank you very much for your time. And it certainly was a pleasure sharing with you. I wish you all the very best in the up upcoming academic year. Thank you very much for that, Pavitra. Just to, to just echo the, the point that was raised, please take the time to go to your department's website and that is the place where you will get information on uh, more details for academic advising, days, times, uh, your, your particular program, all things related to academic advising. Please refer to your department website. You can also refer to the faculty website for information that you would be looking for on the faculty. And of course, make use of the live chat if you want to speak to somebody directly. All right, so we moving right along, we have with us Mr. Jarrell Alder, who is the program coordinator in the Division of Student Services and Development. Now, this is an important unit in our university that provides all different services to support you throughout your journey. So I am very happy to welcome Mr. Alder so that he can share with you some of those services that you should take advantage of. Jarrell? Thank you so much, Dr. Cameron. And let me say good afternoon to all of our first year students. It's a cold afternoon, but I want you guys to have a very warm welcome. 
the FSS team has welcomed you so very warmly. And I feel like we can give our FSS team some love in the chat. So let's take it to the chat. Let's, let us know how you are feeling in the chat. Let us know that you're excited to be part of the Faculty of Social Sciences because, of course, the faculty is excited to have you. Great. I'm seeing some emojis coming on. This is what the Faculty of Social Sciences is all about. All right. So we want you to interact. Wonderful. I am Jarrell Alder, as Dr. Cameron said, and I bring you greetings on behalf of a wonderful division, the Division of Student Services and Development, otherwise known as the DSSD. All right. So I want you to take note of that. The DSSD. And this afternoon, I just want to share with you briefly. If you see how many emojis we have coming through the chat, Dr. Cameron, it's amazing. It's unbelievable. Our students are pumped. They are ready, and we are happy to have them. All right. So I'm going to take you through a very, very brief presentation that just introduces you to the Division of Student Services and Development and further just strengthens your understanding of how we can partner with you to make your experience at the UWI a fantastic one. So if you are part of our FYE student support group on Facebook, please let us know in the chat. Let us know that you're there. All right. If you participated in our pre-orientation series, please also let us know in the chat. We want to hear from you. All right. So the DSSD, what is the DSSD all about? So we are many things, but for the purpose of today's exercise, I want you to know that we are your partners. All right. We focus on your learning. All right. Your development and your success. So we want to ensure that you have a holistic educational experience at the U.S. St. Augustine campus. I too was a student not so long ago, but we have another conversation about that, but not so long ago. And it's because of my involvement on the campus. I am now a member of staff and I work with the Division of Student Services and Development. And when I tell you, I understand the value of engaging and meeting persons and really just embracing a holistic campus life experience. It really, really does pay off in the end. All right, so the DSSD, again, we are your partners in learning, development, and success. So our promise to you, we want to support your well-being. So your faculty are definitely going to ensure that academically you are sound and all of your professional goals are met. All right, we are also interested in the whole you, the total you. All right, so our promise to you is to support your well-being and to help you, of course, achieve your personal and your professional goals while at university. So we want to offer you a fully integrated, holistic educational experience, all right, from orientation all the way to graduation. So if you're ready for that, let me know in the comment section that you are ready to evolve and becoming the best version of yourself. And of course, through the DSSD and our range of services, that can be made possible. So I wanna introduce you quickly to our eight departments. We have the Office of the Director. We have Counseling and Psychological Services Department, as the name suggests, all of your psychological and counseling support can be made available through this department. We have our Guild Administrative Office. If you are interested in student leadership opportunities, you may want to become the next Guild President. In fact, we have had quite a number of Guild Presidents coming from the Faculty of Social Sciences. So you definitely want to engage with the Guild Administrative Office to learn how you can develop and, and, and embrace these opportunities that may come your way. Student activities, facilities, and commuting students department. Once you return to campus, we have a spot for you that is your lineman spot. We know that school is not all about just going to classes. You need time to exhale. And our SAC uh, uh, facility definitely allows you to do that and so much more. Careers, co-curricular, and community engagement department. You are interested in perhaps taking up internship. You may want to become a student volunteer on campus. You may want to become uh, involved in community engagement. You may want to take up those opportunities. This is the department that will definitely allow you to do that. A number of programs and initiatives come through, come out from all of our departments, and we definitely want you to take advantage of all of the wonderful opportunities. Trust me, I took advantage of them, and it has definitely, definitely paid off. Our financial advisory services department, scholarships and bursaries is a must. If you agree that scholarships and bursaries is a must, let me know in the comments, all right? We have tons of scholarships and bursaries and student funding opportunities for you, and we want you to take advantage, and this is where uh, you will get that opportunity, all right? Our student accommodation office, 
on and off campus housing. We know that we are operating in a, in a pandemic, but as Dr. Mohammed said earlier, it's not going to be like this forever. All right, so your on and off campus housing needs will definitely be covered by a student accommodation office. And finally, our student life and development department, you may have a, a disability of some sort, you may have a medical condition of some sort, uh, you may need academic support as you go through a host of different opportunities, regional students, uh, mature students, this is the department that covers that, all right? So I'm hoping that by now you get a sense that, okay, yes, I'm an FSS student, but our campus through the, through the DSSD really wants me to become my best self. And so these services really help in allowing that. And so on screen are just a number of services that I've just pretty much explained to you. This is just a summary of all of the wonderful opportunities made available to you through the DSSD, all right? So I want you to really ponder on this. We know it's your first year, but we want you to start off well and to end even better, all right? So please ensure that you connect with us so that we can explore this partnership together. So what do we want for you from the DSSD? We want you to attain a positive and enriching university experience. That can mean different things for different persons, all right? But we want to partner with you to ensure that your experience is a positive one, all right? We want you to develop holistically and maximize your fullest potential. So you're enrolled in a department within the, the Faculty of Social Sciences, but you may want to do more than that. You may want to understand, okay, I have this degree or I'm pursuing this degree and I want to embrace other opportunities. We want to work with you to help you to achieve those. All right, we want you to achieve your personal and professional goals. And of course, we want you to learn, explore, evolve and feel empowered to become the best you. So if you are ready to feel empowered, let me know in the chat that you are ready to do so. And as I wind down, students, I want to share with you top five things that we believe are important for you to take advantage of. So we know that academically you are taken care of through the Faculty of Social Sciences. You are definitely going to ensure that you adhere to everything that's going to get you prepared, all right, to successfully start and complete your academic program. In addition to that, we want you to meet new people and build community. I believe it was Dr. Wilson earlier that touched on this and said that when she was in undergrad, the friends she had then are the friends that she has now. All right, so we want you to definitely meet new people and build community. We understand we may have some introverts in the group and that's fine, but building community is important. We want you to set first year goals, all right? Goal setting of goals definitely helps guide you along your path. We want you to create a healthy work-life balance, all right? We want you to connect with the guild, all right? This is your connector to campus life. And of course, we want you to embrace your campus life experience. So your top five in your first year. And so as I close, I want to share with you just contact information with how you can connect with us at the DSSD. Like I said, eight dynamic departments working cohesively just to ensure that you attain your personal and professional goals, ensuring that you develop holistically and ensuring that you become your best self. So connect with us on Facebook, Instagram, our website, and of course, via email. Look out for all of the exciting activities, programs, initiatives, opportunities that are going to come your way through our eight departments. And with that, I want to say thank you so very much for choosing the U.S. Center Western Campus. Thank you for choosing the Faculty of Social Sciences at the DSSD. We look forward to working with you, and we cannot wait until we are, well, we're not going to wait until we're just meeting in person, right? We're online and we're going to form an online community and we need you to do that. So thank you. And we look forward to connecting. Uh, back to you, Dr. Cameron. Thank you for that, Jarrell. I think we are hearing it in every presentation. Take advantage of all the opportunities available to you, as well as the support services available to you. So as you would have seen there, the long list of areas that you that that you can get support for. It's so in other words, we have you covered in every way. And so one of the, the, the core areas that we, we focus on in the in the faculty is the offering of a co-curricular course called Workplace Protocol. And we do have with us Lisa McDonald, who is the, the, the lecturer or facilitator for that course. 
And I want to invite her just to share with us what that is about and uh, so that she can inspire you to take that course as a co-curricular course. It's heavily subscribed. And so I hand over to you, Lisa. Thank you, Dean. Good afternoon, colleagues. Good afternoon, students. Warm, warm welcome to our first year um, students. So our overarching goal to all for all of you is that you all leave us as distinctive UE graduates. And what that means is that you are well-rounded, well-grounded, socially aware, capable of providing those solutions that we so desperately need in these times. So to fill that, that gap alongside all these academic courses, we, the university is proud to, have to offer a full suite of co-curricular courses. And I do invite you to go on our website and see what that list is and to see what attracts you. You are able to do six credits in co-curricular courses. And these six credits go towards your, your, your first level credits, your first year credits, all right? So just the name of you get more of a holistic feel for it. We have from IT courses, so you can do courses that will let you know how to use Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel. You need some help in public speaking. We have, a, we have courses, of course, for that. You want it to be more relaxing. We have steel pans, so a wide, wide range. Offered specifically within this faculty, we have financial literacy. So when you leave and you join the world of work, what do I do with my money to make it work for me? How do I understand what is being offered by financial institutions, financial literacies that works for you? Ethics and integrity is so very important in these times. You just have to turn on the news to figure out why that is important. We have a course. But my favorite, and maybe I'm a little biased, maybe, um, is workplace protocols. And what Workplace Protocol seeks to do is to tell you what the world of work is like. But that course goes way beyond that. We get into competencies. And it'll be interesting for you to know that the competencies you need to succeed as a student are the competencies you need to succeed in the, in the, in the world of work. So you immediately get exposed to things like, how do you set goals? How do you go about achieving goals? How do I manage my time? How do I communicate well? How do I go about creating that fabulous first impression? So we get into a whole host of things. And what I do with that course is I make it better. There are many different activities, pulling in cool IT tools, you name it. So I seriously encourage you, go to that web page, look at our co-curricular courses and seriously contemplate workplace protocols, which is offered both semester one and semester two. Congratulations on choosing UE and I wish you a fabulous journey with us. Thank you, Dean. Thank you, Lisa. I was a little bit biased myself. I only spoke about the workplace protocol, but yes, we do have the the other co-curricular courses that we encourage you to pursue. All right, so we are winding down and coming nearer to the end of our undergraduate orientation. And to close things for us, we have none other than Mr. Darren James, who is the Faculty of Social Sciences Guild representative, who will come and bring greetings on behalf of the Student Guild. Mr. James. Thank you, Dr. Cameron. Uh, good day, all, all protocols observed. Uh, firstly, I want to congratulate everyone for not only applying, but being accepted into such a prestigious inter institution. My name is Darren James, and I'm serving as the FSS student representative on the Guild for the year 2021 to 2022. I'm a third year psychology major. I'm pursuing a minor in gender studies and development. Now, as a student who has been in your position, you know, such long orientation, listening to the various doctors and lecturers and professors speak, I feel the excitement. I understand the fears. And of course, I know the struggles. Now, although the topic of the global pandemic and its occurrences may be a bit monotonous at this point, I would just like to touch on it for a brief moment. So please bear with me. In 2020, uh, we were thrown into a virtual space not only to conduct activities, but to attend classes as well. And our student life was completely flipped. 
And I know people hear the term student life, we often think of being physically on campus, like in a Hollywood movie, you know, sit down around talking about politics and beating on a drum and singing a song on the grass. I mean, we have that as well once um, campus opens back. But however, student life goes beyond that. Campus life goes beyond that. It's not only about academics, um, but forming friendships, networking, and simply growing to become your full potential. Many people uh, tend to believe that because we aren't physically on campus, we are doomed to an age of minimum experience, but we are allowed so much more, much more extracurricular activities, closer class times. And for those of you who understand how big UE campus is, it's an exercise to run from one end of campus to the other end of campus when one lecture is finished at 10.57, but you have a tutorial at 11 o'clock. It is hectic, to say the least. But let me tell you some about the Guild now, the Guild Council. You are a member of the Guild of Students. The Council is an elected few voted in by you, the student, to represent all students on campus to administration. We are here to serve you in your time of need and ensure the students receive proper representation in decisions that affect students. Uh, we also encourage and facilitate student engagement on campus to ensure you have the best university experience possible. Now, I encourage you to uh, follow the Guild's Instagram um, page, um, Facebook page at One Guild ST and be on the lookout for event notices and important um, releases. Speaking of events, Guild Fest is soon coming up in late September, where students run clubs, societies and organizations of the campus are showcased. I encourage you to join at least one and see what they have to offer. Learn to balance life because uh, a lot of you are coming out of secondary school where the most you have to balance is uh, some academics, maybe one or two um, clubs and so on, but not really certain things that you wouldn't be prepared for. The amount of work that you may not be prepared for or the harshities of life that may come your way. These are good times to learn to balance. When you reach in the world of work, you are prepared. See what the, uh, um, these, they can offer you in terms of professional and personal development. And don't forget to have some fun with it. Make some friends uh, and create memories that will last a lifetime. And a word of advice from student to student and student who has been on campus and seen persons do these things, I advise you trying to spread yourself too thin. In my year one, I spread myself too thin amongst like six different clubs on campus. I had to drop at least four. And then when I realized what I can do, I joined back one or two. I also advise you to put down your phone and pick up your pen and write notes during lectures. And don't get too comfortable in the bed or couch during lectures. If needed, turn your back to the window if you notice a distraction. I had to do that. It took a bit of shifting around and rearranging, but it's done. <laughs> I also encourage you to Google any questions that you may have, um, such as the absence or status letter. You let so quick um, a Google search is and having to email us someone and wait maybe the rest of the day or uh, two days to get the response. Now, with current circumstances, we have lost some, but you have, you have gained so much. And I encourage you to see it as such and grab these opportunities. I, I love uh, us here today has stress on these points, grab opportunities. We have opportunities here, grab them, please. Embrace the new normal and make it your opportunity to develop and do more. I look forward to representing you for the upcoming academic year. Now, I am SOSAI, you are SOSAI, and we are SOSAI. Thank you very much. And back to you, Dr. Um, Cameron. Thank you, Darren. We are certainly SOSAI. And this afternoon, my colleagues and I have certainly enjoyed having the, the, your, being in your company for the last hour and a half. And we thank you very much for taking the, we thank you very much for taking the time to meet with us this afternoon, your partners who will be taking you by your right hand and guiding you through this journey. We are your partners in learning. We are your partners in growing. We are your partners in ensuring that you achieve what you set out to achieve by coming to the UWI. Just a reminder of some of the thoughts that were shared this afternoon. Embrace teamwork. Don't fear it. Unleash your imagination. Embrace the opportunities outside of your program. 
reach out and do not suffer in silence. Take advantage of all the support services that are available to you. We certainly hope that your journey with us will be enjoyable, it will be memorable, and most importantly, it will prepare you to be socially engaged and solutions oriented. We have been seeing some questions coming to us in the chat and as they come in, they have been answered. And I want to just give you maybe about a five minutes or so if we have anyone in our midst who would like to ask a question to the group, make a comment, tell us about how excited you are. Uh, but we just want to give you that time to, to, to say something to us in the next five minutes or so before we close. Also to indicate that there will be a link in the chat that will allow you to complete a survey. So that link will be, will be posted. And we ask if you can just take a few minutes of your time to, to complete that survey. And also want to remind you that academic advising starts this Friday for some departments and goes all the way into next week. Please check your emails, look out for notices. You will get emails concerning specific dates and times. So look out for those emails. Please check, continue to check your department websites for, for updates, the faculty website. And so I will open the floor for just a couple minutes before we, we bring this afternoon to a close. The floor is yours. All right, anyone who has a comment or question? Good afternoon, everyone. Afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Portia and I will be a part of the Department of Economics, um, a student for this year. I want to thank you guys very much for doing this presentation for us. This was very informative. Um, I just have a question out of curiosity. So I know due to the climate right now, we're going to have classes um, online. Do you think, you know, for students who are starting in 2021, do you think we will ever see campus again <laughs> in person? <laughs> We definitely want you to see campus in person and we are working assiduously, you know, to, to get you to campus. Unfortunately, it's not completely in our hands. We have to work with the government, the Ministry of Education. We have to work with the directives that we are being given by the Prime Minister's office. Um, of course, you know that much of our attempts really revolve around vaccination and we are really encouraging both our students and staff to, to get vaccinated. Uh, we are echoing the same message that is being communicated to us by our prime minister that, you know, vaccination is what we are hoping for in terms of getting, the, the, get, getting us back to some sense of normalcy. And so we want to... We, we, we are hoping that there is sufficient uptake in terms of vaccinations that, you know, that the UWI along with the rest of the, of the country can, can open up fully. So unfortunately, we can't give any confirmed dates in terms of when we will be back completely face-to-face, -face, but uh, we, are, we are really hoping that that can be done within this academic year. But for this semester, we will be online. Thank you so much. And my name is Nicole Williams Jock. I am um, a associate with the Faculty of Society. My only issue is, well, I should I should ask a question. I am hmm, I'm a Tobago student, actually. And it's only since I've that is offering certificate of the administration on the circumstances. Would it be offered in Tobago? Do you, do you have an idea if it would be? The CPA is actually um, offered in Tobago. Not for this semester, not for this year, academic year. Uh, well, we, we offered it in Tobago up to last year, but this is something that you can you can raise with the 
with the department. But yes, it is it is offered in Tobago. But of course, everything is is uh, online at the moment. But we, we have offered it in the past, and it's something that we we continue to do. Okay. All right, Miss Cameron. All right. I'll I'll to the Tobago campus. Okay. Thank okay. you. All right. You're welcome. Hi. Yes. Good day. Yes, Jamila. Hello, Miss Cameron. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to all. Okay. Um, I also have a question, which in terms of like payment, is it okay for me to ask that here? Well, it depends on what it is. I'm seeing responses to payment questions in the chat, but go ahead. Um, well, my only question is how how do a student go about um, financial clearance if Gates has not approved their application? Right, I want to um, pass that question over to Pavitra Mohammed. Thank you, Dr. Cameron. Can you repeat the question, please? Sure, no problem, Miss. Um, how does a student go about um, the payment plan or financial clearance, so to speak, if Gates is not funding the program or a portion of the program itself? Right. Well, you will have a deadline by which time you will have to pay um, either the full full tuition or um, part tuition, depending on what gate covers. Um, you can make those payments online and the bursary has deadline dates. I believe that you can make the payments in three parts over the course of the semester. So you can, um, the, the information is actually on the registration webpage, which I will post in the chat and um, you will see uh, the dates, the deadline dates for each payment. You will also see the link where you can actually go to make your online payment. Does that answer your question? Okay. No. And then uh, once you are, once you have met each payment, you will be financially cleared. Oh, okay. The, no problem. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Miss. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're most welcome. And Fabi, we have Tijuana. Um, yes, hi, my name is Tiwana and I am going to be joining the Faculty of Social Sciences um, Criminology Department. Um, I have a question, right? So if I decide that I want to change to another faculty, would that be possible? And how would I go about doing that? You want to change to another faculty right now? As in, you've already been accepted into a program. No, like um, during the semester or another semester, because fac the faculty of, um, I mean, criminology was my second choice. So, and they told me to um, apply next um, application cycle for my first choice. Okay. I can take that question. Sure. So, what you'd want to do um, is you you will you can apply to transfer from one program to another, but you have to do so at the end of your first year. Um, how you go about doing that is you'll need to write to the admissions office. And since we're working in a virtual environment, the admissions department has two email addresses to which you can send your requests. The first is admis, A-D-M-I-S at sta.uwi.edu. The second is UG Apply, capital U, capital, capital G, capital A, UG Apply at sta.uwi.edu. So just to repeat, at the end of your first year of study, then you can submit your request to transfer. Okay, thank you. Um, I have one more question. So for my other two, um, options i was told that i had like two other offers but i only got um like an offer package for criminology so am i like when am i going to get it or is the other offer criminology alone you how do you know that you received multiple offers um 
so like in my application thing when you go to go to tracking you know you have like one of like um your first second and third and fourth um like options so for my first one it said apply next application cycle for criminology it said it said um you have an offer and some days later i received the offer letter and for the the second two it said another um an another offer in the faculty of social sciences um is available but i don't know if the other offer is criminology or if i have two other offers so i'm unclear about that Okay, so what you'd want to do is you'd have to redirect that question again to the admissions office. Um, and the address, the email address you'd want to use is ugapply at sta.uwi.edu. They will be able to clarify that for you. Okay, thank you so much. You're most welcome. And then we have, um, I think, Janae, you put your hand down. So we have Shamia. This is actually Shamaya. What is Shamaya? <laughs> um, I am going to pursue a major in sociology, and my main concern is how many foundation courses am I supposed to take on in my first year? Because I was told to take on as many foundation courses as possible, but like, how much is like you think is too much, or how much is limited? There's a university requirement that you complete three foundation courses. Well, and, uh, well, the foundation courses should be completed in your first year, yes. Okay, thank you. Um, and Samaria. Good morning, miss. It's Samaria. Oh, dear. I'm not getting <laughs> right at all. Samaria. Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, I wanted to ask about academic advising. Or do you make an appointment for academic advising? Which department? Psychology. Psychology. Yeah. I'm seeing links going up in the chat in terms of... So the link was just posted by Talia Esnad uh, concerning your advising. But you can also check the department's website and you will get the details there yes samaria okay thank you miss okay and then we have michaela sure i got that right hi yes good day okay. um i saw somebody ask the question about if you did a um because i did a degree before at ue and i completed it in 2018 and I came back to do the certificate in public administration. So I wanted to know how do you transfer your caution money? Or is there a need to transfer it? Or would it not already be in my account seeing that I never did the refund thing? Because the form that the um, person replied with in the chat saying to use that is the refund form. Ah, uh, but you don't want a refund. No, it, I just want to know if it if I would have to pay it again or if they will just take that off my account how it's already there. Okay. Can I ask, um, Alicia, can you answer that? Right. The caution form is the same for transferring the money. So if you want to transfer, you have to fill out the same form. Well, I know what you form... I know download the form and watch it, but it's not saying it's asking you where you want the money in your bank account or by check and stuff like that. It's not saying like to transfer it. Apparently on the refund form, there's an option to transfer to another faculty. No, it's the same faculty. I did a degree in management studies. Right, but there should be an option on the form to transfer to another program as the case may be. It has a, there is a box to click transfer to a new program. And that's the box that you click. Okay, thanks. I know. See, Alice, right. okay, Alice, thank you so fun. much. You're welcome. Adam? Hi, good morning. Um, I am happy to want to join the faculty of social sciences, but I have to admit it wasn't one of the, my first choices as um, the choices went. I applied to MBBS first. 
and I have yet to receive a response to that, but I have accepted for accounting. So I wanted to know, but I haven't received any word regarding MBBS. So I wanted to know how, as for registration and for registration of GATE, I was informed from the GATE, people from GATE that I can't apply to, to do one program and then switch when it is I get acceptance from the other one. So I wanted to know what I'm, what course of action should I take in a situation like that. I have to bounce that to Pavit from Mohammed, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I was um, paying attention to the chat. Uh, can you repeat the question? Oh, no problem. Um, yes. Okay, go ahead. Um, <laughs> no, I am a student who applied for MBBS program as my first choice, but I have yet to receive um, acceptance into that field because it requires that I submit my um keep unit two results which is due to be released late in October early um late September or early October and accounting is my second choice I wanted to know as a um regarding registration what am I to do as a student who is still awaiting confirmation on whether or not I'm to be accepted into my first choice program what to do regarding gate as well as university's protocol. All right. Um, so what you're saying is that, did you receive any communication from the admissions office? Now, all of these questions are really questions that should be directed to the admissions office, um, seeing given that the applications uh, are processed by that office. Uh, so if it is that you are awaiting a response concerning the MBBS, what you would want to do is, is email the admissions office to ask um, before you take a decision uh, concerning which program, you, you whether you want to take up the offer the account, uh, to do the BSc accounting, um, you would want to email the admissions office and direct that question to them. They would be in a better position to give you a, a more accurate response. Okay, well, I have done so, and the response that I was given was that please be guided by, so it wasn't really clear, so I would probably wait for academic advice, and if they would probably be in a position. No, academic, academic advising um, is, is going to, is, is specific to a program, so if it is that you take up, let's say you, you, um, you accept the offer to do the program for which you received an offer letter, academic advising will be specific for that program, not for the MBBS. Um, now that, because the MBBS falls under the Faculty of Medical Sciences and the BSc in Accounting falls under the Faculty of Social Sciences. So we will be unable to give you academic advising concerning the MBBS. Understand? So you definitely will need to, to, keep, um, to, stay, to keep communicating with the admissions office. Okay, understood. Thanks. All right, thank you, Fabi. We have five more minutes, and then we will bring this, this session to a close. So I will ask Tashana, please, if she can raise a question or comment. Good afternoon. I would like to know how to sign up for the MPT exam, because when you click the link, it's telling you you're not able to access the link. The link is, is broken. Yeah. Um, Dr. Cameron, I can take it from here. This sure. is the case from the Department of Economics. The link is working because we are, we are receiving um, registration forms. I can resend it in the chat. That's not a problem because as soon as they um, register on the job form, it will come into the department's email once they have paid for it because that's a mandatory requirement of the form that they have to upload the receipt. Is that okay, okay Tishana? Thank you. Okay, Janisha. Hi, good day. My account um, has been reset recently, right? And I'm still unable to get into it, right? But it can't, due to, it was reset because they misspelled my name on the acceptance letter. So uh, the admissions clerk reset my account and I'm still unable to get into it. 
going to pull and particular do I have to email to deal with this? Um, Dr. Someone, can I yes. Who's taking it? Jarrell? Jarrell, yes. yes so please. we do, I just wanted to quickly say that we do have a UWE click session at 4 p.m. today. Uh, so I would encourage students, I didn't get your name, sorry, but I would encourage you to join that session at 4 p.m. today. Uh, we will have representatives from our campus IT office that will be attending to those matters. So you'll have an opportunity to get that result there. Uh, may I ask if you're part of our FYE Facebook group? No, I'm not. You are not? Okay. I am going to share the login link uh, with everyone on the chat. Um, so that session, UWE Clicks, is scheduled for 4 p.m. today, and that session will take care of those matters relating to the student portal and accessing your student's email, et cetera. All right, so I will just share the login link with everyone um, to join. So I hope that that helps. Thank you, Dr. Cameron, back to you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oops, I just lost mm -hmm. my... Um... Who was next? Um, Hosanna. So after Amelia, that is our last question. So Hosanna. Hi, good afternoon. Um, about a month now, I've been sending numerous emails to admissions because I had an error in choosing my program. Instead of the BSc management special, I want to do the BSc management major. And for the past month, I've been sending numerous emails and they told me they have recognized it, but nothing has changed yet. And on my acceptance letter, they told me that I have to send back the response letter by August 19th, which is tomorrow. And I don't know what to do. It hasn't been changed yet. So I don't know. Uh, can I bounce that to the Department of Management Studies? Although that's a, an admissions issue, but uh, it's, it's really changing from the major to the special or the special to the major? Special to the major. Special to the major. Pavitra, Shalyan. I missed part of what, what um, Hosanna said. She, something is due today or tomorrow. I didn't hear that part clearly. Tomorrow. Um, right, what she said was that apparently she applied for the management studies special and she made an error. She really wants to do the major. And, um, but she has to respond to admissions by tomorrow. I think they have until tomorrow to respond to indicate their, their option. And um, she has sent some emails and she's not getting a response. Hosanna? Yeah. That, that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. It's really an admission. So you're waiting on a response from admissions. They have responded and said that they um, they have seen the email and they have been notified, but nothing really has been changed. I keep tracking my application and it hasn't been changed. So I don't know. Yeah. Mm. You Rosanna, wanna... could you send me a message um, in, on the chat? You can send me a private message and you can put your details. Yes, no problem. Name and email and, and telephone number. Okay. All right. And um, sorry, but we only have time for two more questions. If it's burning, other than that, you can put it in the chat. Uh, so perhaps um, Tyreek and, and Alexia. Tyreek? Hi. I think someone answered it. I was asking, how do I um, create a UE email? Okay, so it was answered. Um, so that that's fine. Um, Alexia? Hi, Miss. Good afternoon. afternoon. I have a question concerning the MPT. So I signed up for management studies. So I want to know if the MPT is compulsory or if I could choose to register for Econ 0001 instead. Uh, 
Uh, this is your, your management study student, you said? Yes, miss. Okay. Okay, so if I understand correctly, you'd like to know if the MPT is compulsory or if it is, you need to do Econ 0001? Yes. Okay, um, so one of the compulsory courses for your program is Econ 1003. Um, if you do not meet the requirements to directly enroll in that course, um, normally we ask that you do the math proficiency test, which is the MPT. Um, if you'd like to forego the MPT, you can enroll in Econ 0001 and on completion, successful completion rather of that, then you will be eligible to do Econ 1003, which is um, math mathematics for economics. Okay, miss. Thanks. Sure. Okay, thank you. Okay. And um, I think that's it. Amelia, you asked your question? Not as yet. Okay, right. So you are the last one. Go ahead. Good afternoon. I just wanted to find out when can you apply for exemptions? Uh, Alicia? Hi, good evening, everyone. Exemptions can the form is available on the new website, and once you have been registered, the form can be submitted for processing. It has to be submitted to the admissions office at their email admis at sta.uwi.edu. And when this has to be done? As soon as possible. As soon as possible. Okay. So I can apply before registering for courses? It's recommended that you at least register and then submit the form for processing. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right. I see no more hands. Um, and so at, at this time, colleagues, I just want to, to bring this orientation to a close and especially thank Jarell Alder for being the, the, the man behind the scenes, ensuring that, that this orientation se session comes off successfully. So thank you very much for all your assistance, Jarell, and also for bringing greetings on behalf and that, the information on behalf of the Student Development Services Unit. Thanks to all the heads of departments for your, your warm welcome. And just for your little golden nuggets that you dropped along the way in terms of preparing students to, to enter the Faculty of Social Sciences. Thank you as well to, to Pavitra Mohammed. Thank you to Lisa, to, to Mr. James, our guild representative, as well as all our students who provided their most uh, insightful and, and passionate you know, testimonials about their experience in the faculty. So ladies and gentlemen, again, we are very happy to have you with us and we look forward to, and I have to use that word again, partnering with you as we go along. So I would like to officially bring the orientation to a close and we look forward to seeing you in academic advising next week. All right, so enjoy the rest of this, this rainy afternoon and we will see you soon. Take good care and continue to stay safe.